Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here on behalf of the Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group. Um, you can use the hashtag AJOS. This is um, the hop highlighting the month of October and the theme is embellishment or embellish. And I'm working on a project and didn't have a lot of time to create embellishments, so I'm going to show you ones that I've used in the past to um, ex things to accentuate your journals. All right, so I never was really a big proponent of jank, dangly, jangly, noisy things on my journals until <laughs> I met my friend Cindy, uh, Cindy Utter, and she completely wrecked my opinion about um, embellishing journals. So I'm going to show you my first one um, because this is where the downfall started. <laughs> All right, let's see. My first one started because I made flat beads that I learned how to make from Jenny Belly. And I went just ape crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Then I'm sure how you make flat beads or flat embellishments have changed a lot since I made these. These are... Um, quite a few years old but I they're still a go-to for me I really enjoy them and they're so simple to make you can use a circle punch and you can use a heart punch and layers they're just layered pieces of cardstock or um, packaging product packaging anything you can find to use and then you glue them all together you put a hole through them you paint around the edges to cover up how, <laughs> how they're not even. Uh, Jenny Bellies look better than mine. Okay, and so then <laughs> I used um, I used some kind of a re not resin, some kind of a shiny stuff you squirt on things. I think these are this stuff is painted on, and I can't remember the product because I don't use it anymore. Um, but it made them shiny and lovely. So that was my first, and still, I still use them. This is my idea journal for different things. And another way you can embellish stuff is not just the dangly things, but I embellish my journals by um, putting tabs on them so I can find them in a hurry. This is, um, these are different things that I write down, like uh, swatches for my washi tape, the paints, anything like that in this section. This is my idea section for a project that I'm working on right now, and I've kept it kind of on the down low. So that's this one. The next, <clears throat> the next thing that I did that was so simple to do is craft sticks, or I don't know, when I was a kid, we call them popsicle sticks. What can I say? This was super duper simple, and I really like it. It's still a favorite because of how simple it is and how versatile it can be. You just take your punch. Punch on either one or two ends of the popsicle stick. I mean, <coughs> craft stick. And then you can have a dangle where it attaches to the clip. And then you can have something dangling off your dangle. Double dangles. And then I just took, um, I don't know, words, inspirational words or whatever, and put them on here. And I just love these things. I know it's something really silly, but I've had such a great time with them. And if you have um, craft sticks that have broken, it's okay. No big deal. There's one that I couldn't finish all the way through. It, it broke, but I don't really care. I just think it looks wonderful. A V and a B for Vicki Brown. And what else is on here? It says, make today count. This was, what is this? This is also another idea jour uh, journal that I've been keeping for other things. Another way to embellish your journals is a double-sided paper clip. This is not double-sided, but it's a paper clip, and I really like that I can use it in my journals because it's flat, and it doesn't bulk up anything. I don't want it to bulk up this journal. Um, so I, I really enjoy the fact that it's flat. Of course, it has tea-dyed old bed sheet as the top. 
these are very expensive, inexpensive ways to do dangles. All right, so the next one is another popsicle. Uh, this is not popsicle. This is paper clips. Um, I saw on YouTube. All these ideas came from YouTube. I'm just telling you, it's your free resource center. Um, these are popsicle sticks that are wrapped in. I think this is jelly printed paper. This one is. I took leftover um, things that I had in my accessory box for jewelry when I used to make jewelry um, for a business. And I just put them on there with the jump rings. There's that one. And then I have this one right here. It's a giant butterfly and music paper. Just gave it a little um, hit with the um, ink pad. And ta-da. I love these clips right here because I can move my dangles from place to place. They won't come off of here, but I'm just saying that you are able to move them. And it they're, they're on there and the elastic from this. This is um, a travel journal. I have not put anything in it yet, but I've prepped it so it's ready to go. I have one for, um, I think, one for England and one for Italy. There you go. There's that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a frog this morning. All right, the next thing I want to show you is you can do simple things to your journals. Your embellishments can be the paper clips. They can be envelopes. They can be a million different things. Tip-ins, tip-outs. Embellishments are just how you make beautiful things for your journal. It doesn't have to be all paper related. It doesn't have to be dangles related. It's a combination of what makes you happy in your journal. Let's see, is this my double? This is a double paper clip where it, it's uh, got color on one side and it's got something on the other side too. Let's see, is this one a double? This one is not a double. It has the, you can see the paper clip on the back of it. So you can think of embellishments in a million different ways. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. It's whatever makes you happy. This is one of the first little cute ones I made with a paper clip. It's a, um, I don't know, it's not really a tea bag, but it says it is. I think it was just a uh, cardstock that I cut to look like the, the shape of the tea bag paper on the end. And just a little coated green paper clip. I needed something green for this journal, and there it is right there. This whole journal is based on green. Can you tell? <laughs> so embellishments are lots of different things. Paper pads, dangles, envelopes. Anything that, that brightens up your journal that you enjoy. Oh, see-through things that you sew together. Here, they're see-through, sewed together. This is not real, because like where I live, I can't get a hold of stuff like this. It's just a die cut. We have two pieces of some kind of product plastic sewn together. See, the back, there's where I had the misstart with the gel print. <laughs> And then I just took the word fern, stamped it on there, and then it's an embellishment. Embellishments do not have to be super duper complicated. They can be super simple. Here's another one. It's a die cut. No, actually, this is a fodder from Fodder School. I sewed it together with, I saved um, packaging, sewed it together on my sewing machine, which, by the way, was not threaded correctly, so it's... It's really funny looking sewing, but I don't care. I think it adds character to it. So again, you just do things that make you happy, things that are easy for you, things that you enjoy. I don't especially enjoy sewing paper, but I do, I mean, enjoying sewing material, but I like sewing paper. Okay, so another thing you can do for your embellishments to prepare is take your um, Big Bite or one of those, you know, homemaking gizmos Put yourself a little doodad in there and put a jump ring in it. Then you put, this is called a lobster claw. You can put yourself a lobster claw in there. And there is a dangle that I made for books, which are tiny books. <laughs> Uh, these are paper beads, leftover things from the days I used to make jewelry. A dangle can com be composed of lots of different things. Things you make, things you buy, things you see on YouTube, you create, you buy off of Etsy. It doesn't really matter. So 
So there's those. These are just little tiny books that I sewed together. Oh my word, I sewed it. Oh, I did. <laughs> there it is in the center. I forgot. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is, um, I think this was somebody's, somebody's, I know somebody sent this paper to me and I just painted in what was already there with green paint. It was a leaf and I painted over it to give it a little more color then outlined it with a pen, sewed my little book. This is leftover cardstock that I pulled out of a, a cardstock storage envelope. I gave it yet another little hole and put a um, eyelid in it. Is that they call them eyelids still? Anyway, put it in there and uh, a jump ring and this was some bare chain that I had that I wasn't sure I was going to use for anything. And I thought, well, this is it. I'm using it up on this. So there you go. There's a dangle for your book that you can clip in. You can move it around. Super, super simple. There you go. Paper beads. All right. So the PS de resistance to my uh, dangling, um, let's see, fascination is this one. This idea came off of YouTube. I don't know whose idea it was, but I could not help myself. This is a paint. Uh, this was paper I laid down to paint on my desk, and I decided I really liked the way it looked, and I took it and made it into a journal. But what was really most fascinating for me is the book jewelry that got put on it. I saw somebody do this. They took... These are all my um, dyed papers. They took a piece of paper, cut corners on it, and then they put dangles on that for your pages. Not on the outside of the book, but on the tabs and all the pages of the book. And I was smitten. I could not help myself. I put one on almost every section. I could get a dangle in there, I did. Look at that. I went crazy. <laughs> I just took anything I could put together and match it with the page and drill the hole in stuff with the, you know, the whole baker thing, the big bite. And I went gaga nuts. These are all leftover jewelry pieces. There's nothing in here that's expensive. This was all stuff. I think I bought most of this from Fire Mountain. But I went crazy for this. I just went nuts. I love it. It's one of my most favorite decorative pieces that I've ever made. And it's because of all these tabs that have just, you know, two little pieces of jewelry on them. Nothing complicated. Just a couple little things on every tab. <laughs> There's lots of them in here. I just, like I said, I went crazy. Let me see if I can get this one open. I think it's hooked on. There we go. It's hooked on the other page. Some of them are more dangly than others, but it's it's eye candy for the journal and the journal user. Why put it on the outside of the book on the spine when you can do it this way? Look at that. So here's the rest of them. There's like a million different, and they make a little bit of noise. Um, my cat does not get up on my bookshelf, just saying. <laughs> so, instead of displaying my book on the end, which is, you know, relatively boring, I store it on the bookshelf this way, so you can see them all hanging down. And sometimes when I just need some tactile inspiration, I come by and, and rub my hand on them. I pet my, I pet my dangles. I just love it. They're just fabulous. All right, so let me show you one more dangle. I have to reach up and get it. I'll be right back. All right, so my last embellishment. I stored it right side up like this. And it's another one of the um, craft sticks with a couple little charms hanging off of it. And it's got the lobster claw right on the elastic. And, and there's nothing in this journal. It's just, there's just painty papers in there being held with the elastic. Till I can figure out what else to do with it. 
But I got to looking at it one day and I thought, well, maybe I've got this all wrong. Maybe the dangle ought to be at the bottom so that when you push this into the bookshelf, this dangles off the end of your bookshelf. Make a great cat toy. <laughs> um, so I thought, well, maybe instead of all the danglings go at the top, you could have these hanging off your bookshelf where you have a line of things that hang over the bookshelf that dangle down. So that way, when you use your journal, you don't have to worry about your dangle getting in the way while you're trying to do something in the journal because it hangs off the bottom of the journal, not the top. So I put it on the bookshelf this way so that the dangle is at the bottom. I just love these embellishments. I don't know what happened. This is all Cindy Utter's fault. <laughs> okay, everybody, so that's it for me. I wasn't trying to show you any way to reinvent the wheel. Go on the internet and look for stuff like this. Things where you can attach and you can take them off. If you get tired of looking at this one, you can take this one off. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Take this dangle off and put this dangle on. This does not match the book, but it's another dangle of another kind. You just use miscellaneous things you have. They don't even have to match. They don't have to have a theme. These happen to because they're for, they're for a, a, I have made them for a reason. Anyway, so um, they're color coordinated with my color books, all these colors that I did. I think I have green, pink, purple, orange and blue. So I made dangles that would match the books. That's that's what this is made for, is for the green book. All right, so there's that one. Then we have the one with the um, paper clips. We have the crafter. Okay, silly camera cut out on me before I could finish saying what I was saying. Just to add one more layer to the um, embellish part, let me show you. An embellishment can be as simple as gluing something on the spine that you've made. This is glued on over the three hole pamphlet stitch that I did for this book. And then I, my letters have come, my letters have decided to walk off on their own. <laughs> do you believe this? I'm just gonna do a little walkabout. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> There we go. Stay in your place. So just adding a little extra something. This again is paint paper that it was on the desk. I like it so much that I covered a book with it. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about is I have a terrible memory for where I found ideas. So this is my stationary embellishment book. I started this book from another website it is, uh, let's see, Cori Dunham, Dahman, Cori Dahman. She is um, really big on doing different kinds of paper embellishments. That's what started this whole book. And so this book is filled, and I've done another whole video on this. This book is filled with different kinds of paper embellishments that you can do to your journals. I don't have to go back to the YouTube. I don't have to go back to YouTube to look for these. All I have to do is open this book. It gives me ideas. It it reminds me visually how I made these. Some of these I actually do have to go back and look at the video to be sure I understand what I made. This is crazy. I took a paper clip and curled the ends on it and made this. I just sew the lace on the top of it, and then the lace just, you just put it on here, fold it in half, put your paper in there and sew it. I hate to sew, but I sacrificed it for the beauty of the paper clip. So that's this. That's what's holding this one on. It's just cardstock, just plain and simple cardstock. I just love the way the embellishment works. And yes, you see it on the end. You can make it a double if you want. I didn't really care. This uses the um, Velcro business. I'm telling you, this this is the. I think this is. 
Other than the, dang the, the dangles on the edges of the pages, I think this is one of the best books I made because when I am struggling for an idea, and Lord help me, sometimes I just don't want to go on YouTube and throw th and, and go through thousands of videos. I just don't want to do it. I do save certain videos, like um, the video on how to change your tape in your ATG gun that is permanently under my watch category because I can never remember where the silly video is so I save certain videos because they're extremely important. There you go. So make yourself a book and I try to put, if I can remember, I try to put where these ideas came from so that if I ever have to go look for the video I know whose YouTube channel to go back to. Um, G. Kerr, Shannon Choppin Hayes, Treasure Books, um, Julia at Camellia Crafts Design, La Cafe Craft, Gail Agustinelli. I mean, there's millions of different people in here. Corey Dahman, Hanny Trump. I mean, it just, there's millions of places you can go to look. Give them credit. Some of them, I'm not, I don't remember exactly where I got them from, so that's why you don't see any kind of a label on there. But the ones where I could remember to do it, I gave credit in this book so I could go back and find them. Roxy Creations. So as you can see, I'm down to the last, I don't know, maybe 10 pages. I have not done embellishments in the book in a while, but I wanted to show you that you can make a very simple book. Look, I didn't even cover the inside of the book, and <laughs> this doesn't go with anything. This is just that silly colored duct tape. I don't care what it looks like. I just want to make sure that I have my ideas down somewhere where I can find them and I can remember how to embellish something. It's just that easy. So thank you for watching. I didn't teach you anything new. I just hope that I um, showed you and explained to you how simple doing embellishments for your artwork is. It's not rocket science. Never is, never will be, never has been. Um, it's super duper easy to do. And I think that everyone should add their own little embellishment that shows their flair, their taste, their abilities, and go for it. If you don't go for it, you're never gonna know. So thank you for doing the hop for hashtag AJOS, for the AJOS October hop, where the theme is embellish. Thanks, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Happy embellishing. Bye-bye.